One of the efforts of the research study that we're working on or trying to work on is being able to take all of that data and bring it together and then create broader understandings based on that data. Now at 930, new hope for people known as COVID long haulers in Arizona. These are people who survived the virus but have long lasting side effects. So we know ASU is working on a research study and hopes to connect patients who are suffering with doctors who can help with their specific symptoms. Our Kim Powell has been covering long haulers. She's here with the very latest. Kim. Yeah, after our story aired about long haulers coming together to get a post COVID clinic started here in Arizona, ASU researchers reached out to us to get in contact with those long haulers to get a ball rolling on the project that they're working on to help them. In the meantime, a long hauler tells me that treatment can't come soon enough. For Pamela Russell, things like shortness of breath and fatigue have been going on for a year and a half after contracting COVID-19. There's just a lot that goes into it that um, that people don't know about, and that's kind of why I wrote the book. While fighting off the infection, Pamela wrote a book in hopes of helping other people. The writing, she says, helped her heal in a way. I really wanted to educate a lot of people like myself who are millennials and who really weren't taking it very seriously as they should. For people like Pamela, like the more than 300 in the Arizona COVID-19 Long Haulers Facebook group, they're eagerly awaiting answers. And researchers at ASU are hopeful. We're trying to understand what is going on with people that have had COVID and maintain either symptoms from COVID or developed symptoms which are um, beyond COVID and, and have persisted. Neil Woodbury is one of the many researchers at ASU Knowledge Enterprise, working with Valley Hospitals to find a way to help long haulers. A project which involves many clinical partners across the state. So we're, we're working with pretty much all or almost all of the major clinical uh, groups across the state to do this. ASU, you know, we don't have a medical school or one affiliated hospital necessarily, but one of the benefits of that is that we can serve as a connector and we can support many different hospital systems and efforts. They say right now, the hardest obstacle is the unknown, but their project is a necessary step in helping people feel like themselves again. There's some people that are not in good shape and we need to, we need to see what we can do to help them. Now, ASU submitted a $100 million proposal to the National Institute of Health to see if they can help us tackle this problem here in Arizona. They hope to hear back on that grant in the next couple of weeks or so, whether they get the full amount of money or at least a portion of it. In the meantime, ASU says they're in talks with local hospitals to see how they can help right now. Reporting live tonight, I'm Kim Powell for Arizona's Family.